Good to see you, Representative. Great to see you, brother. Thanks for having me back on. And um, Geraldo, I went, my daddy uh, was an old United States Marine. He was kind of a badass. And I remembered one night we were watching, I was a kid, we were watching TV, and you got in a fight on television, <laughs> and, and I hit you, over the, hit you over the head with a chair, and you, you fended the guy off, and my dad said, I like that, Geraldo. All right. <laughs> I love that those Marines. I always remember you said it was a righteous fight. It was I, a I very righteous fight, Congressman. Absolutely. That could have been a lot of nights, <laughs> by the way. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you're going to have to be Chris, more specific. So, Tim, what are you guys looking for, Congressman, when you're looking at this convention? What would worry you in terms of uh, political fortunes, and what would worry you as an American? I don't think, I, you know, I think these conventions, Chris, I'm sorry I'm going to rain on your parade. Just like I said, ours is just a pep rally. I'm, I'm ready for the game on Friday night. I want to get into it. Let's get to the game. Let's get to the election. I, you know, I, you're not going to convert anybody at this thing. And the folks that are looking for a fight that are there to, you know, that the people that want harm and destruction on either side, I think are, are very misled. I think that just shows you the the, the gutter where American politics really is right now. Um, I was glad you had my buddy Mike Quigley on. I thought it was a very brave thing he did. You know, when I, I came out against our speaker, he and I had a conversation not too long ago in the gym. And I told him, I said, brother, you'll survive this thing. I said, um, there'll be another wreck. I used to say when I was mayor, there'll be another wreck on the interstate tomorrow. And I wasn't wanting a wreck, but something else will take you off the headlines. And so he survived and now he looks like a, He's more or less looks like a hero among among most Democrats. So I, I'm not really looking for a whole lot. I don't I don't I don't plan to spend a whole lot of time watching it. And I don't plan to because I know it's going to happen. It's going to be a lot of rah rah speeches and not a whole lot of substance. And you know it, it won't be like y'all hear me now. I got you. I got you, Representative. Okay, I'm sorry. It won't be like when your father. Spoke. It won't be anything historic like that. I don't think it'll move the needle other than a couple of points, and then it'll subside right back to where it was, and then you'll just be, they'll be paying all their attention. There's your father right there, paying attention to the, um, and I watched that live on television. I'm a, I'm a right-wing conservative Republican. I was a Reagan Republican, but I watched that with very great interest, and, and actually that was a very moving speech. It was probably one that they ought to, that, that they would set the mark by of all conventions at least in my lifetime, because your father dealt with substance. It wasn't rah-rah. It was real, and it was from the heart, and you felt it because he believed it. And that's what we're missing now. Everybody's looking at opinion polls and seeing in our side and their side. They're just looking to see what they can do to move the needle. And and I just don't get too caught up in it. I'm knocking on doors. People are worried about paying bills. Yep, you're right. Pocketbook politics, brother. Uh, that's what matters most. The more you keep it local in your mind when you're in Washington, the better you'll be. I appreciate you being on, as always. Best to the family. Thank you, brother. You still owe me a mail in New York. Well, then come here. <laughs> come here. Stop talking about me I'm on gonna... other shows and just come here already. I hear you, Burchett. I hear you. I, 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 I'm going to need a translator, so I'm going to need you there with me. Yeah, because you're real easy to understand, let me tell you. I'll see you up here when <laughs> yeah. you come. Take care, Congressman. East, East Tennessee, baby. It's the only place in America where people don't speak with an accent. <laughs> Please. I'll talk to you soon. Thank you very much. They believe that. Love you, brother. Thank you.